Hello, this is Kathleen McKee of Olean's.com Machine Embroidery Art. Lesson 8 Editing a DST or another file form. One of the main things people use their embroidery software is to edit designs that they have purchased from somebody else. In this case, we're going to import a DST design that's been created for a commercial embroidery machine. Uh, I could go to my import patterns from the home menu file, but I've already put it on my quick access, and that's where I do all my work is for my quick access. And we're going to import it from a file. I'm going to pull this DST. You can see that uh, I, most of mine are on PES, but this one's a DST, and I'm going to import it. The problem with DST designs is that they always have the same color sequence. It doesn't matter what color is really going to be sewn out. Uh, it's going to show on the screen as Prussian blue being the first color, blue is the second, a teal green, third, cornflower blue, a red, and they go on and on, and they're always in the same order. But I like to see what my design is going to look like on the cloth in real color. So I'm going to go ahead and change or uh, customize this DST design for my likings. So I chose, the, I selected the Prussian blue by left clicking. And I'm going to change that to khaki. The young man, I'm going to change him to a flesh color. The sheep, I'll make white. And the outline, of course, I'm going to make black. Now that looks more like what we're really going to be seeing when we sew this out. We can check it on the realistic preview. And that looks like a pretty cute little design there. We've got some satin stitches going on here, which are smooth. And then we've got fill stitches there. So uh, let's go back and uh, do a little bit more editing on this. I decided I want to make this... Uh, say peace on earth as opposed to just plain peace so I don't know if I'll be able to get that font exactly because when you choose it you can't you can't select it if I select it here it puts a little line around it and I can change the color as I did with the others but there's no way I can remove it from there so there's two ways of removing that part of the design or any part of the design that you want. One way is to select it and pull down your edit tool, which I will get from the quick access. And you notice all oh, it turned dark. So what's happening here? Let's zoom it and see what's happening here. Ah, it's showing you where every let me get my select tool. It's showing you where every single stitch is going to be. Uh, each stitch, every stitch. That's how we know that it's in stitches. Now, if we want to get rid of the piece, go back up to zoom, go to zoom all, and I'm just going to select this piece, and I'm going to delete it. Now, I'm free to type in and put my own text. So we'll say okay so I finished that and I'll right click to make it turn to stitches. Now we've got peace on earth. And we need to make that smaller so it'll fit our design. And to center it. And now we have changed the piece to piece on earth. 